Welcome to this week's episode of 60 Seconds with the Superintendent. Well, the success of any school district is built on the partnerships that we have. And one of the great partnerships we have in our school district is with the Strongsville Education Foundation. Let's learn more about this important and critical work that they do to support our district and our students. So the foundation was established in 1984. And since then, our mission has been to raise and disperse funds for the students to foster innovation, uh, growth, creativity uh, for the students, the teachers, and the community served by the Strongsville City Schools. In the past, we funded projects such as the Makerspace in the middle school and the high school. Uh, but more recently, uh, over the last few years, the foundation has funded the field trips for the schools. Um, we've also funded things like intervention kits, which help with motor skills for our kindergartners. And then our, our most recent approval was for the Building Mathematics Cohort. When Mrs. Scott and several of the other teachers sent through this grant, we did feel that the benefit to the middle schoolers um, with respect to mathematics uh, would, would be very great. <laughs> And I think education is the foundation of our society, right? It's our, our future leaders that we're, we're preparing to send out into the world. And so when you provide funds for a child to continue to help further their education, not only does it help the child, but ultimately helps impact the community and society around them. So a group of us got together and said, you know what, why don't we create a book club? So throughout that book club, we came up with several ideas to improve our teaching. It's 85. I feel that since these tall desks came into play, students rush into the classroom, first come, first serve to sit at the seats. The kids want to be up and learning. They, they're tired of sitting all day. They're active, participating, and um, they like moving around the room. Being able to work together at these boards, at the desk, it's wonderful because they are more willing to give ideas, they're less fearful about being right, being wrong, and it helps more students be interactive instead of just sitting back and watching the action happen. We were just trying to piecemeal things together and it wasn't optimal because it, we weren't able to do it for our whole class. We're able to do so much more and involve all the students rather than just a few at a time. I think it's the kind of thing that would have sort of, we talked about in theory, this would be a great technique to utilize. Man, if we only had a lot of whiteboards and some tasks and some things to like make this actually come to life. A big part of the dry erase board concept is students aren't afraid to make mistakes. So this process has really created an entire school atmosphere where students are willing to take more risks, where they're willing to be more adaptable to, like, I'm not sure if I know this answer, but I'm going to see if I can work together with my partner to figure it out. Every student has, like, their own idea, and to use one big board gets, like, really crowded. So with, like, a lot of individual boards, like, around the classroom, each student can, can like, share their own ideas on each board. Yeah, it also helps you with teamwork because you're working with someone else trying to figure out the uh, same problem, and it's kind of fun to see the other person's point, uh, point of view and thoughts. Yeah, because, like, a lot of students, they're, like, sitting down all day doing the same stuff. So, like, the standing boards get you moving around, and, like, if each student has their own workspace, you can, like, go through your work, see what you did wrong, maybe. The Strongsville Education Foundation was incredibly generous. The world of math education is just exponentially changing, and we are, we are brightening up to so many big, huge things, and to know that they have our back and have our support to make those kind of goals come to life is, is great. As you've heard throughout this episode, the funding, the support, the educator grants that are provided to our teachers in our school district have an immediate and positive impact on our students. As always, thanks for watching and go make it a great Mustang week.